Nowadays, to find a good girl, forget about it, Ma, don't exist. I'm seeing this girl for like three months already, right? I bring her candies, I bring her flowers, I take her to the movies, nice restaurants. I'm treating this girl kind of special, right? Any, I'm meeting her family, she's meeting my family. I'm about to let her start hanging out with the fellas, which as you know, is something you don't do, it's a big no-no. Anyhow, one night we go out, right? I picked her up, we go to this restaurant, some restaurant in the village, right? Some Italian place. So what happens? I'm sitting down eating with my girl, and some guy walks in, a real pretty boy, and sits down at the table behind me, right? I mean, come on, you know, what's this guy, kidding me or what? Can you believe that motherfucker? So I like, because my girl's like looking at him, right? So I turn around, and he's reading the menu. I mean, come on, what am I, stupid? What, are you reading the menu with me turning around? I get up, I go over to him, I'm like, hey, you got a fucking problem? You looking at my girl? I smack him in the head. He doesn't even say a word to me. Like, he can't believe I'm about to throw him a beating. The manager starts coming over to me, right? But he's kind of scared. I pick up a Pellegrino bottle off the table. I swear to God, I'm going to smack him in the head with it. All of us, you're not going to believe this. I can't even believe this right now. All of a sudden, some faggot out of nowhere, I'm talking about a real homo, runs up to the guy I just smacked. He's screaming, oh my God, Richard, stop, please, like a, a little fairy like this. I'm like, oh shit, what is it? And runs up and hugs this guy I just smacked. And then it comes to me. It wasn't this guy's fault. He's a fucking $3 bill for crying out loud. It's my girl that's a problem, not him. So, like, I'm not a queer or anything, but, you know, I kind of feel bad for the guy. I make money, so what do I do? I give him $50 to pay for dinner, and then I drag my girl out by her hair, and, oh, do I throw her a beating? I mean, when I tell you, I made her eyes look like sun-dried tomatoes over here, my own. I haven't seen her since, though. She don't call me anymore, that bitch. I don't know what's wrong with her. I think she's kind of, you know. Anyway, what I got to tell you is, there's no good girls out there. Hmm. Mike, can you speak Italian at all? Yeah, you know, how could you not? No room for the mio coyones, capisce, maron. It's fine. Who's your agent? Oh, yeah, I forgot to write that down. I don't know which agent sent me up. My manager told me about it. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, just find out for us, give us a call. That'll be fine. Perfect, perfect, no problem. All right. All right, thank you. Where was that monologue from? Oh, it's a true story. It happened to one of my friends. Yeah. Yeah, I did the monologue you gave me. Yeah, yeah, I told him it was a true story. But couldn't I have been a little less offensive? I mean, they, they probably think I'm some misogynist, homophobic guido. Don't worry, they definitely thought I was a guido. Hey! Yeah, but an attitude like that... Hey, an attitude like that definitely not going to get me a... A what? Yeah, it's not going to get me an Oscar. An attitude like that's not going to get me an Oscar. Joe Pesci is a completely different story. All right. Oh, and you've got the agent's name. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's up, man? Yo, Ivan, what's up, man? Mm -hmm. Tell it. Let me just sign that. Hold on. Yo, what's up, Chief? What's up, man? Tell it. What are you up to, man? Nothing, man. I just booked this commercial. No way. Get the fuck out of here. For what? It's long distance telephone company. No way. I can't fucking believe that. It's a national? <laughs> you know it, man. Come on. <laughs> I can't fucking believe you, bro. You go on all the auditions. Yeah, I need the money, man. Yeah, who don't, man? That's what commercials are made for. Yo, I can't wait till I do enough real work, real acting work, but I don't have to sweat commercials, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not gonna see, like, Pacino doing potato chips or like, Denzel doing donuts. Man, as long as I get paid, I don't care what it is. Oh, yeah? Nah, I don't... Yo, I saw you in that music video, man. You trying to be on Mac on me, G. <laughs> no, man, how about you? Oh, man, I'm just, uh... 
I just came from this audition, and uh, my manager wanted me to try and play the role. I, I did this Italian role. You could do that. Yeah, but it was a little weird because, like, I did this monologue that was offensive, and it was like, didn't really feel right. You know what I mean? I was like offending people. It wasn't it? Didn't really move right. Thanks, guys. Which audition are you here for? Uh, the beer commercial. You sure? Yeah, you're Greg Thomas, right? Yeah, who sent you? Uh, Sam Sinclair. Hey, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're a little too light. I mean, I could read you, but you're really too light. Ah, uh, that's all right. Um, I actually appreciate your honesty. Look, I'm just trying to save you some time. I am Greg Thomas, and if something comes up that I think you're right for, I'll let you know. In fact, we're doing industrial next week, and we're gonna need some Spanish stuff. Okay, that's all right. cool. All right. Cool. Yeah, man. Uh, okay, all thanks. Right. All right, see you. Don't you ever forget that. Okay, so I try the nero. Yvette Otero. Yeah. Did you read the sides? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Okay, come in. Why can't you get a real job? Like what? Yo no sé, pero anything would be better than what you're doing now. Oh, look who's talking now, huh? Coño, when you first met me, you didn't seem to care. You liked the brand new car. You liked the brand new clothes. You liked it when I took you out. And now you to go for that, huh? Look, that was back then when I was young and didn't have a baby. Coño, and now we do. Yeah. And my business is our brother and brother. And don't you ever forget that. Muchachos, ¿por qué no te tienen que vender esa porquería? Spanish. Yeah, I didn't know we needed to speak Spanish in there. Your parents don't speak Spanish? No, I don't. Because you were really good. I saw you the way he was looking at you when oh, you were come reading. come on. Hey. Are you serious? Yeah. I wish my manager would have told me about the Spanish. You know what? For a soap right now, there are a couple of parts you'd really be good for. Nah, I, I'm not really into doing soaps, I'll be honest with you. It's not my idea of really acting. You know what I mean? You gotta make a living. Yeah, but look at, at Marlon Brando or Sidney Poitier. They didn't do soaps. All right, well, I'm running late. Here's the number, so contact. Right. Give them a call, make an appointment. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you can bring yourself to doing soaps. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> I'm going to watch you. Well, I'm running late. So. All right. All right. Okay. I'll let you All right, great. All right, see you. Take care. All right, it's a mobile, man. It's a mobile thing. Me and Jeffy Lou chilling. Hi. Big Diesel. Jeffy hey. Lou making music. I'll check it. You ready to come in? Okay. You, you can leave that there. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, safe. Listen, they really liked you on the tape, so do what you did before. I play to the guy on the left in the suit, okay? Come on in. This is uh, Mike Andrews. Whenever they will make a point to people who are sharp. Well, I got my rhymes and back, I got bats. Penguin got penguins on my hat and got rats. I had to go back to basics, cause deep in what you used to even get my point across. The party from what I've to lose it. But now I got a game plan that's good to go. I need the cash flow like Ross Perot. Simple team, I don't do it, but not be too simple. Come back and pick up on the bitch in the middle. No, but I ain't even trying to hear that, man. It's only 900. Yo, we gonna make Colossal look, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't try to front on me, nigga. If you so positive about it, why do I have to book the studio time? Because I don't have no money. You know that crazy. If I had the prop funds, I wouldn't be wasting my time with your punk ass, bro. Thank you. That's good. Thanks. We'll get back to you. So, what'd you think? Well, he's everything you'd said he'd be. But I think we need to go for more of a Wesley type. Yeah. Okay. The music video. What do you mean the VJ? Yeah, I already went over there. They already have me on tape. I was there like 3,000 times. 
All right. Yeah, I don't mind. Just what actor ever made it big doing music? I mean, a great actor. All right, all right. Okay. All right, peace. Just give the same flavor as before. Anything you want. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Mike. It says here on your resume that you can rap. Do you have anything you can do now? Oh, all right. I hold the throne, pick at your persona. I'll drink your blood like I'm drinking a Corona. If sex sells a boner to make Madonna Mona, I'm physically fit enough I could have competed in Barcelona. These are my views on conformity, the hell with it. Settle down, son, it's all I hear from the relative. But yo, I need a steady, like Freddy needs a facial. A Brooklyn look at again, cause my hat is multiracial. Like ESA real is in my blood, I got no choice. I got more appeal than Robin Williams got toys. Redundant, I know, but I'm determined to go back to basics. I got my styles and Joan Rivers at facelifts. My share of regrets like any ordinary fella. Crying at street level. S Stella. <laughs> that was good. Are you doing anything with it? Nah, I, um, I didn't do that that fun. <laughs> because you're very good. Thanks. Well, uh, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, um, I have a model. I'll just go ahead and do it. When I was a boy, uh, about five years old, right before my sister was born, my mother had taken me to see a play that my father was in, a play called The uh, Raisin and the Sun. And it was at a little theater at the time called the Henry Street Theater. We had arrived about 10 minutes late, and, and the employee that inspected our tickets asked if we wouldn't mind sitting in in the mezzanine. He said that sitting in our front row reserved seats might disturb the performance. Thinking back, Mother probably only agreed because she was partial to sitting in the mezzanine, especially when watching her husband. My father played the lead, Walter Lee. And I didn't know people could turn into other people. I didn't exactly see it that way. Everything he said, I, I thought somehow was related to me. There was one part I never forgot. At the end of the play, when the white real estate man comes to give a black family money not to move into his neighborhood, my dad began to speak. And no one moved, no one talked. No one made a single sound. They all listened to him as though he were a saint. He talked about being plain folk, about pride in being plain folk. And he calls a boy over, his son, and says how proud he is of him. And I knew he was really talking about me. For years, I thought, he wanted me to act just like him, to be a black actor, like Danny Glover or Sidney Poitier or Morgan Freeman, just like my dad.
but I was never black enough. My dad died last year. And only then did I realize how ignorant I was. The lack of credit I had given my father. My dad was a black actor. But he wanted me to go one step further. He wanted me to be an actor. Just an actor. That's what he meant when he said proud. Well, uh, that was impressive. We're supposed to be looking for a long hair type. You are? Yeah, someone with dreadlocks, uh, poorly short hairstyle. But we were looking at some other types as well. Right. And your tape to audition was great. A lot uh, different than your monologue, but great. Thanks. Well, so let's work out what we're going to do, and someone will get back to you. All right. All right, thanks. We don't get back to you. You look great. Uh, don't worry about it. I was just telling the story. Thanks. It's just so frustrating. I mean, either I'm too blonde or too wholesome or bimboy. Bimboy. <laughs> Oh, God. Can you believe that someone actually used that word as a fucking description? Oh, honey. I'll be with you in a minute, all right? So, what can I get for you? Uh, I'll have a bagel. Do you have whole wheat bagels? No, just plain. Okay, <clears throat> I'll have that with cream cheese on the side and a cup of coffee. Regular? Mm, not too light, not too dark. Just we got like it, not like it. So don't let it change. We are what we are. Mm -hmm. It's strange. Don't waste no time. 